We should check out... Oh, where's the hamster in our cabin? I'd love to see it. Hamster? They have hamsters in space. And my fish! My fish! Hello, Ilium Skullfish. I've got three. Oh, I've got six. Here's your fish food. Have fun, buddies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had dead fish before. Like, ten years ago. This might be something we have to be careful about. The armor I bought. So where was that 10% health thingy, or whatever I bought? <laughs> I don't even know where I have it. Arms? Offhand ammo pack. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, N7 gauntlets give me more health, but this one gives me more spare ammo. Stimulator conduits? Storm speed? Shield strength? Well, you know, in the spirit of trying new things, why not? Don't have anything for my shoulders, actually. Delay. Regeneration. Increases power damage. What is power damage? Like, the damage of my... My abilities? Power? Yeah, we can try it out. Actually, no matter which one you use, you still get the little N7 logo on it, too. That's really what makes it a shepherd outfit, I feel like. Plus the red and white stripes. So everything else is kind of negligible. Make it a little bit more matte looking today? Sure. Do we want to try wearing a different outfit? Ah, this one makes me feel like a captain, like a ship captain. I feel like this is the um, appropriate one. But this is the comfy looking one, you know? Yeah, let's go around like this for a while. Now that we've settled into Cerberus a little bit, we're just indulging in the, the fine stuff around here. That's my helmet! Right? Oh, my poor helmet from before. Now, did we have email? Oh my god. Thank you again from Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. Ah. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nerali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nerali's picture hangs on the wall, and the lion soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatia. That was one man who was looking for his deceased wife's body back in one. You're not dead from Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years, but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. Hey, Emily, I'd love to give you an interview, actually. Where were you? I saw the other one, but not you. I like you. A gift of words. Oh, <gasps> Consort Shaira. Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well. Consort Shaira. Thank you, Shaira. Basically telling me, hey, do everybody's loyalty mission. <laughs> Which I was gonna do anyway, so... Thanks for the reminder, but it's okay. You and Garrus are alive from Dr. Chloe Mitchell. Uh, is that the medbay woman back on the Citadel? Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his email, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore. 
because he hasn't returned any calls, always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks, Chloe. I'd love to, but I don't think they let me anymore. Hmm. I wonder how much the average person... Okay, so now that I did that interview, there's a very big chance that the word is gonna spread that Commander Shepard's still alive. But what do they actually know, though? Do they know it as, Commander Shepard got a new body from Cerberus? Or do they know it as, Commander Shepard went missing for two years, we just didn't know where she was and we thought she was dead, but actually, she's been alive this whole time. She was in hiding for some top secret mission. I'm inclined to think that's probably what people think. Oh, look at the Destiny Ascension, holy crap. A crew of 10,000. Wow. Ah, <sighs> Liara. Oh, oh, hamster! Whoa, it's so plain in here! Oh, little guy, come out, come out! Oh, it's so plain in there, we gotta buy more toys or something. Okay, this is like a club here, can we just have some peace and quiet? No, we can't have peace and quiet. We'll just have a, <laughs> a chiller track. Well... Have fun, fishies. Fishies, if I wanna... Hold on. I remember this vaguely. We can get someone to feed the fish for us, right? Because otherwise, we would have to come back every single time after every mission. Otherwise, they're gonna end up dead. And that woman is... Kelly. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Someone who's good at putting up a front, huh? A thief. Probably the whole cagey thing was quite the trauma for her. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Kelly? How do I get you to feed my fish? I know this is a thing. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Do I have to, like, manipulate you into thinking I like you or something like that? Uh, did we do these ones already? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages I think we or did. appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task- No, we've definitely seen this, yeah. Everyone knows how risky- I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly right, right, right. taxed. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the- How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. What? <laughs> oh. I... I want you to feed my fish. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Whoa. Anything else you'd like to talk about? N no, I guess. No. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Is this a thing that has to happen later? Maybe she doesn't know I have fish yet. I gotta, like, keep talking to her and make it happen. In terms of the romance stuff, I feel like... Well, we haven't seen too much of it. I think, uh, Jacob. I haven't talked to Jacob in a while. He... There was not one dialogue option that kind of suggested that we wanted to flirt with him. And should we just do it? Should we just do whatever flirting option we see? Me, myself, I'm kind of like quite ambivalent towards most things we've seen so far, like meh, okay. But um, probably at some point, it's gonna make me lock in on my romance choice or whatever. So maybe before then, we should be doing what we did back in Mass Effect 1, where we were toying with people's feelings to the absolute maximum. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like every single time Shepard talks to Jacob, she already sounds like she's flirting with him. Her tone of voice is a little bit different. 
Oh, 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 okay. Um. I mean, this is the more aggressive one, isn't it? <laughs> I guess we have to. Maybe not everyone, Jacob. I want to learn more about you. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? We have to... We have to flirt with people to get them to open up. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Okay. Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, Whoa. I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. A an option, just not one I'd take. Okay. <laughs> now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. <laughs> He's doing that thing about how, oh, I mean, I'm not saying I don't look at you because you're ugly. In fact, you're actually really pretty. Oh no, did I mean to say that? No, I didn't. Uh, 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 let's just move on. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about it, Jacob. As far as I'm concerned, that's enough to get us uh, moving. That's all it takes, huh? I'm just along for the ride. If you're lucky. All right, Shepard. You want to grab a drink sometime, maybe talk some more? We'll see where it goes. That might seem slow, but one nighting the commander is a quick way to get airlocked. <laughs> well, I should get back to work. You're not wrong. If I were Shepard's subordinate, no matter how much I liked her, I would never. I would never do anything because what if she gets pissed and then freaking throws you out the airlock? You don't know this. You don't know what's going to happen. This is bad. It's bad. Yeah, let's just kind of see where things go. I mean, we still have Liara, but technically, if you've died already and you come back, does that mean your relationship is still on? I don't think there's a hard and fast rule about this. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. Is Morden's... I'm looking at Morden's head right now. Is that like an injury or is that just how Salarians look? Like the, the one horn, but like the other... Okay, you know what? I'm being really rude right now. Never mind. <laughs> What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term, no. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. We did meet one Krogan scientist, the one back on Vermeyer. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Even I don't know if that's a good news or bad news. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Oh my god. Is that gonna keep happening? How many times have you done it? Do the Krogan know? Oh my god.
You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. <sighs> Is it really? Did you ever ask them? I don't think so. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Good. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. But at the same time, no one's happy. But I'm very glad to hear Morden say this though. He has sympathy for the Krogans. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. I don't want to make a judgment on you. I wasn't there, and I'm not a Salarian, I'm not a Krogan. I'm here to observe. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. But I think right off the bat, in comparison to some other Salarians that we've met, like Captain Kirahi, who honestly was very dismissive of the Krogans' position. Like, I understand that as a Salarian, as a non-Krogan, he has things that he thinks about, and it's usually gonna be stuff like, who cares about the Krogans? You know, genophage, yay! But Morden does seem to care that the Krogans are affected by this. He's not just thinking about the rest of the galaxy exclusively. We can get the med bay upgrade now, but this is just for the scarring. I don't really care too much. And frankly, maybe a few scars makes Shep look a little bit cooler too. Ah, oh god, we need one more of those sniper rifle damage upgrades to get this. The platinum is not the problem. The credits is the problem. If we want to get all three, we need 50k each. So 150k money. Oh my god. I can't get any of this! Now- oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not for now. We'll leave it alone. We should take Kasumi out, shouldn't we? What should we do no now? Messages for you, Commander. Should we go conquer another system? I think so. What about the Hourglass Nebula Far Yar system? We could do that. Actually, we don't have any side quests at all. That's the only one. I thought we had a lot, but that's not really the case. Goodbye, Citadel. I will definitely be back. Fuel good. Probe good. Help Kasumi. Maybe not right now. Should we get everybody first and then help people afterwards? Do I have to care about which order I do it in? Maybe not? Mmm... Secure smuggled cargo. Oh, Hourglass Nebula. Recruit the convict. It's a little bit far. It's a little bit far. But let's go there. Oh, son. Alokan, Sky Harvest, Standard Gas Giant, made of Hydrogen and Helium. Spacefarers gather Helium-3 here because its atmosphere is predictable. Launching probe. Okay, this planet's poor already. Bye bye There's a prison ship purgatory there. That's another main thing, huh? The convict. We haven't read about this person's bio yet. Aganju, an extremely large rock planet. 
abundant with copper and platinum? This crust has already been scanned by mining bots. So maybe there's not going to be too much here. Ooh, there's some. There's so much palladium on this planet. I just realized, speaking of upgrades, I didn't talk to Jacob about Normandy upgrades, right? I don't think we ever got that thing from him. Maybe we got to talk to him again later on. Orinmilia. Orinmilla. A medium-sized gas giant. Major changes in temperature during its day and night periods. Powerful convection currents and storms. Basically, not a cool place to live in. It's within the frost line of its solar system, where icy cord gas giants don't usually form. It's believed to be an extrasolar planet captured by its star's gravity. And I'm feeling lazy today. That's 60%. There's another one here somewhere. Besides for the one that we're supposed to go to. That's the convict. Ah! Faryar! Oh, okay, we came into a nebula, but there was like other systems here that actually... Ah, the convict and the smuggled cargo are not in the same system. I see, I see. Might as well buy some more probes. Where is the... other planet, though? Oh, there's a ship, and then there's the... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, this is not the same as the ship. The purgatory ship. Mm-hmm. Probe away. This planet's got Ezo. Great, great. I've got a lot of stuff right now, but not much to really spend it on. Okay, I'm gonna leave the convict alone for now. Let's go to Faryar. Eighty percent because we haven't gone to the ship yet. Faryar system. Oh, I didn't buy new probes though, hold on. How many do I have now? And Citra, fused metal. Regularly pummeled by loose asteroids in the nearby belt. A lot of meteors here. No, oh, I gotta buy more probes after this one, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Ah, what a waste of fuel. Nephros! Restless sleep. What language is this? Like, Greek or something? Electrical storms, spectacular winds. Okay. 28%. This system has a lot of random little planets, huh? There's an asteroid belt here. And a very, very small planet. Oh, it's so tiny! Wenrum, White Knight. It takes its name from a Salarian story in the Romantic period of a knight who refused all temptation to riches, carnality, and even flavorful food until justice was served to the poor and oppressed. The planet is so named because of its white, highly reflective surface and not because of, you know, an actual white knight being here. Hopefully people who live here will be like that too, but it's really, really cold, so I don't naturally think anybody lives here. Humans usually, I mean, I guess humans usually do well around 20 degrees Celsius-ish, like room temperature, but it might be different for other races. We know that the Turians and the Krogan and the Asari all hate the cold. We have hit over 100k for palladium. That's a lot of palladium. Yeesh. And then we've got another one here. Tunfigil. First charted by the Salarians. Tunfigil, hard heart. Oh, maybe it's like Salarian knees, some kind of Salarian language. Is noted for its platinum and uranium deposits, making robo mining a lucrative activity. It's pretty cold here, but not as cold as the other place. Hmm. Salarian miners exploiting the planet derisively name these planets as Elcor Taurus traps because they have high gravitational pull. Speaking of Salarian knees, 
Humans have different languages among all the cultures, but Salarian and Asari, they've all gotta have different languages too. I wonder if every single Salarian can understand each other. Well, they might be able to because they've been doing the whole galaxy expansion thing for a bit longer. So maybe in their schools, they do all try to like learn the galactic standard language or something. As opposed to humans who just relatively joined the whole galaxy thing pretty recently. And we're doing exceptionally well for ourselves too. It's been less than 100 years and yet we have a seat on the council. I can imagine the Volus, the one in the embassy, the ambassador, getting angry at us already. <laughs> We have over 100k for everything besides Ezo, And I almost need new probes again already, my goodness. Alingan, deceptive, was so named by Salarian scouts because as their probes landed on the planet, their instruments started going awry. This was due to the high concentration of magnetically active periclase magnesia in the core and crust of the planet. It's a very magnetic planet, interfering with scans and broadcasts, which has started a lot of rumors about people, about pirates lying in wait here, trying to ambush anybody who comes. Man, I went back and I had to buy new probes again. This system is milking me dry. Fuel costs money, you know? Uh, one more here. Very close to the sun. Quorum, a scorchingly hot planet close to its parent star, bombarded by comets and asteroids during its earliest geological periods. Metals are deep below the crust, making mining impractical. Oh my god, surface temperature 558 Celsius. Holy crap! How can we even send a probe and get anything here? The moment the probe lands, it's gonna start melting. Alright, I'm out of here. Ooh. 85. We're still missing a planet somewhere. It must be pretty small because I'm not seeing it. Sometimes the, the sun in the middle makes it hard to see what's around it too. Oh, is there like a... No, I think that's like an asteroid belt thing. No. Where am I missing a planet? Ah! You know what? It's probably this one. Daratar? Cerberus hotspot detected. The planet Daratar in the Faryar system is a suspected eclipse smuggling site. Cerberus is interested in obtaining the materials kept at this site. Operatives will be paid handsomely for any intact crates retrieved from the site. Beware that eclipse will probably try to kill you. Payment will be made once acquisition of the crates is verified. Do I have to actually care about the crates in question, or do I just go and kill some people? This planet had a nice little bit of Ezo. Now it's time to do some work. Kasumi? Let's check her out. See how she's like. And maybe... Morden. Kasumi! Master Thief. Enhances weapon damage, health, improves power recharge time, shadow strike, cloak and sneak behind a target to deliver a devastating blow. That sounds pretty insane. Overload. Flashbang grenade. Can never go wrong doing this first. Master, Infiltrator, or Saboteur. Kasumi specializes in her tech mastery, greatly reducing the recharge time of her powers, which we haven't seen in action yet. Or Saboteur, specializing in weapon combat, increasing her weapon damage. Mm, I think Kasumi is more of a trickster, so maybe here would be uh, Infiltrator? Just like me! I'm an Infiltrator. Keep going. Alright. Kasumi! I guess everyone's using the hand cannon now. Is it automatically the best one? No clue, but we're using it. We still haven't tried that singularity projector yet. Maybe we can try it now. Eclipse. Destroy heavy mechs. Oh, before they destroy the valuable smuggled cargo. We have a time limit, maybe? Eclipse has abandoned their smuggling depot. 
on Daratar, and they would rather scuttle the goods and have Cerberus take them. Oh, we gotta steal it before they destroy the stuff. No! This is what Arya mentioned before, right? It's not like there's anything else around here. Okay. Sharing is caring, guys. Don't don't be like that. No. Maybe I'll take some time to, like, put on the disruptor ammo for my stuff first. See, sometimes I gotta reapply it, but sometimes I don't. Like, I'm looking at the sniper rifle and I didn't need to. I wonder why. Or does it mean that for the sniper rifle I can't use it? Singularity projector. Am I not allowed to use it? Incinerate. Okay. Yeah, you ready guys? Let's go. Ah! Curses. Ramps. Hold on! Wait, everyone, pay attention to me! Don't go over there! Oh! Okay, this guy has shields, armor, and then health. I haven't been looking at that for a while, because the sniper rifle shot is pretty powerful, but this is actually not good against shields, for future reference. Uh, it's very close. It's kind of freaking me out. Okay. Effective against armor. No, 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 no! Whoa, whoa, what about that guy? What about- Ah! We gotta go, we gotta go! Morden! Incinerate? Oh, incinerate goes a distance. That's great. So this guy's shields are almost dead. So I'll do this. Is the cryo armor working? Going silent. Yikes. This is effective against shields and biotic barriers. This is fine. This is fine. Or I don't have time here, man. Oh. There's another one. Hold on. Shields. Uh sh no, shields should be Maybe the other guy. Let's try using the Singularity Projector. Will that work? Look straight ahead. Oh, oh. oh god. Oh dang, he wasn't even in the area. Mm, the accuracy on this gun is a bit... Wow, that was a close shave. Come on, we can do this. Shepard! Impending explosion. Is that it? Oh man, we lost seven crates. Oh man, they attack so fast though, and there's three of them. Should I just try to, like, draw the attention of all three on us in the future, or how do I make sure that I maximize the amount of crates saved? Might be something I want to look into. Hey, telling me to go back, but there's stuff here. Heavy weapon ammo. That singularity looked insane, but it didn't hit the target. <laughs> something to note for the future. Is heavy, heavy weapon ammo hard to come by or something? They make it such a big deal. And the incinerate, can I try it again? It's like a long range shot. Had to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment, increasing the frequency of system checks. We have to be ready to shut this place down if someone spots us from orbit. Aha! Got you now. What a waste of resources, though. This is not being very environmentally friendly of you. Enemy ship spotted in orbit. IFF ID confirmed Cerberus. Beginning farewell protocol. Engaging security systems. Destroy command received. 
Oh, that's why they started destroying everything. Farewell protocol. Don't be so stingy. Let's share. And if you don't share, I'll destroy all of you. <laughs> okay. Short missions. It's a little bit cursed of me to say this, but I kind of miss the Mako. <laughs> kind of. Mmm. 13. Well, it's more than half, I guess. Oh, well. Not much we can do about it. And aside from that one, these two are both DLC missions. When would be a good time to do it? At the moment, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just let it sit for a little bit and continue on doing whatever we were going to do. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. <laughs> I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Please feed my fish. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Okay. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. I, I think she's getting into it. We just gotta give her a little bit of time and sooner or later. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. I hope he's right too. It's a lot of pressure, actually. What if we don't perform? Hey, Joker. Commander. How do you like Asumi? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. She is a thief, so I guess things are going okay. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh. Joker. I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moore. <laughs> I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. How are you doing, Edie? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? No, I don't. That's all for now. Logging you. Trimming compensators. Decimal one, two. Well, they'll, they'll get along sooner or later. Can we talk to Jacob about some Normandy upgrades? Everyone so far has had suggestions, so probably Jacob will too. Although me and Jacob right now are kind of... <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen if we talk to him. <laughs> Commander, can I help you with something? Yes. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. That would be great. Heavy ship armor. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Well, let's make sure we don't get penetrated again, huh? Good. Very good. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. We've got a good thing, Shepard. Let's not push it. <clears throat> we'll talk again later. Okay. We'll talk later. Shepard. <laughs> Jacob is so into me already. Well, who wouldn't be into me, I guess? It's Commander Shepard! Savior of the galaxy and whatnot. We can pretty easily afford this now, so I guess I'll get it, even though I don't really care about the scars. Oh, but... I don't know, though, because this is permanent. What if I like the scars? Maybe I will hold off a little bit. Rest of this, as usual, can't really afford it. Maybe let's get the convict next, then. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Or read my emails. Nice work on Daratar, from Cerberus Command. Nice work. We knew Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo on Daratar, but we couldn't land without fear of their mercs destroying the crates. We've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad to have you with us, Shepard. Sorry I only got 13. That was kinda poopy. 